What would happen if you swallowed some chewing gum? Excuse me, let me take the gum out. Okay, I'll stick it on the microphone. There we go. Our world is full of mysteries, and it keeps us wondering. Wondering and trying to find answers to the most important questions. Who are we? Why are we here? Is there life on Mars? And most importantly, what would happen if you swallow chewing gum? Now, you probably thought you have the last one perfectly answered by your parents for you long ago. Seven years of bad luck. Well, you can't possibly feel lucky with a chewing gum stuck in your stomach. It's exactly for how long you were told it would stay there. Or maybe you don't even have those seven years because your stomach will explode. And then you did swallow that chewing gum of yours and survived. Were you a lucky exception? Or is it just normal to feel perfectly fine after you swallowed gum? Brightside has the right answer to the stickiest question of all times. And we are about to share it with you. Now, to understand the phenomenon of the chewing gum better, let's start with its history. When do you think it first came around? 1950s? Earlier? 1900s? Nope. It has, in fact, been around since ancient times. It turns out people in Northern Europe have been chewing on birch bark, great-grandmother of chewing gum, 9,000 years ago. It gave them pleasure and helped relieve toothaches. And, wait for it, their bark was worse than their bites. I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist. Something chewing gum-like was called chicory. And the ancient Maya and Aztecs just loved it. However, only children and single women could chew it in public, while men secretly used it to clean their teeth. Well, that's interesting. Today, we no longer have to hide it, but who knows if it's a bad thing or a good thing. The first chewing gum factory in the world was opened in the early 1850s. Can you guess where it happened? Yes! Willy Wonka's factory! No, 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 no. It was in the United States. Maine, to be more precise. European settlers who started it took the idea from native Indians and first used spruce resin for gum production. However, it didn't taste so great and was soon replaced by paraffin wax. In the 20th century, manufacturing and selling chewing gum became a very profitable business. William Wrigley Jr., for example, became one of the wealthiest men in America, thanks to his sticky produce. It's hard to find someone who has never tried chewing on Juicy Fruit or Wrigley Spearmint. These two gum brands were launched in 1893. He made so much money, he used to own a baseball club in Chicago. And today, Wrigley Field still carries his name. Chewing gum became so popular, and there's been a lot of competition in the chewing gum business ever since. Manufacturers are getting more and more creative and develop new sorts and kinds. Chewing gum fans also get creative and competitive and set world gum-related records. A guy named Trevor Cummings, for example, stretched a piece of gum 564 inches long. He had nothing better to do. Can you do better? It's worth a try. Sometimes chewing gum fans get together in groups of 737 people. In fact, that was a registered Guinness World Record set in Madrid, Spain on 27 September 2014. So, how did they get that record? By passing the same piece of gum around 700 times each chewing in succession? That would be gross. Do you think there's any chance any of these people swallowed the gum instead of just chewing it? Do you think any of them ended up spending 7 years with gum stuck inside their stomachs? We are about to answer that burning, sticky question and find out if it actually burns and sticks at the same time. As its name itself suggests, chewing gum is designed for chewing, not eating. It is made out of gum base, sweeteners, coloring, and flavoring. The gum base is a mix of elastomers, resins, fats, emulsifiers, and waxes. Yummy! All of those are pretty hard to digest. 
Now, let us imagine you accidentally swallowed some gum. What happens next? Well, it turns out the gum will go through your body just like any other food. But the journey will be longer since it's harder to digest. How much longer? Well, that's a good question. You've probably heard that if you swallow an apple seed, it can stay inside your stomach long enough to grow an apple tree. And that's a story for another time. Does it also mean that if you swallow a chewing gum, you will turn into a gum-producing factory? No and no. So what actually happens inside your body when gum is passing through? Your saliva will be the first to try and save you once the gum gets in. Then your digestive system will do its best to protect you. You remember how it helped you process that steak that you had? Well, <laughs> same thing. And it won't let you down in a gum crisis either. Your liver will help to remove the coloring to prevent allergies. Your stomach will use hydrochloric acid to break down sweeteners, flavoring, and the sticky base. Then, a couple of days later, the remnants of the gum will find their way through the intestines and out your… body. Easy, naturally, and with no pain whatsoever. In other words, it's official. You will survive. It is hard to say exactly when it will leave your body, because every digestive system has its capability, but it will for sure be sooner than 7 years, 7 months, or even 7 days. Now, does it mean it is cool to chew and swallow, swallow and chew? Mm, not exactly. It won't kill you, but it won't make you stronger either, because it has no nutritional value. Also, if you swallow a huge wad of gum, it'll make you choke. But that is true for any other food, so you should not just be aware of the gum. In extremely rare cases, chewing gum can also cause a plugging in your digestive system. It is more likely to happen to kids because their digestive tract is of smaller diameter than that of adults. So, the best advice we can give you is chewing on your gum for as long as it has that amazing flavor and then please dispose of properly. Don't just spit it out. Don't stick it under the table or a chair or on that doorknob because you know what gums around sticks around. Did you enjoy watching this video? I hope so. Then please give us a thumbs up and click subscribe to join us on the Bright Side of Life.